Hey everybody, hope and pray that you're doing well today as we come to our word from the word. And today, that word is when. When. Now, let me ask you this. When has God been good to you? And we should say all the time. Because even when it doesn't seem that way, uh, God is still good all the time. And all the time, God is good. But now, let me ask you this. When does he listen to you? Now, I don't mean that he listens like in the way that our, uh, you know, maybe our children or somebody like that would listen to us and like obey us. Because that's not obviously what we're trying to convey to God, that God, you have to listen to us. Now, we've talked about making demands in prayer before, and that's never turned out well. There's a difference in that kind of arrogance and then some boldly bold confidence coming before the Lord, praying according to his will. There's a huge difference there. But today, as we're uh, continuing in Deuteronomy, uh, today in chapter 9, and I pray, uh, as I have asked you all week, if you've been uh, staying with us and reading uh, these first, especially these first nine chapters that we're dealing with this week, uh, and I'm, it may even made mention of this earlier, uh, that you know, there was a time as Moses is reflecting back on everything that they've gone through in their 40 years uh, in the wilderness and even in his life, his time of ministry, um, looking back and, and here he's recalling the time when he got the Ten Commandments and, and the time he's spending with the Lord, uh, the people had basically lost hope, they lost interest, whatever, and now they have turned, they thought Moses was gone and man, what's going on? And then they make this golden image, this golden calf, and, you know, then Aaron, oh, hey, y'all, this is your God who brought you out of Egypt. And it's amazing just how quickly things had changed. But um, during that time, as Moses is now going back and talking about that, he's saying, you know, I went before the Lord on your behalf. And I love what he says here. Just one verse today. Deuteronomy 9, 19 says, For I was afraid of the anger and hot displeasure with which the Lord was angry with you to destroy you. But the Lord listened to me at that time also. Now, see, the Lord had said that he was going to just blot them all out. He's like, hey, Moses, look, we're going to start over. And and Moses intercedes on his behalf. And, and this is the difference where um, he he's not demanding these things of the Lord, but he's he's begging the Lord and pleading, as we see so many times uh, throughout Scripture uh, in the life of Moses. But how intercessory prayer is so important as, as well throughout Scripture. But it just got me to asking this question. I love how he says, but yet again, the Lord listened to me. Now, there's been other times, even as we talked about, as Moses prayed that he would be able to uh, enter into the promised land. And God says, look, that's enough of that. I, I don't want to hear it anymore. And so he was still listening to him, but he had a different answer for him. And see, there's times that God, yes, he gives us a yes. Sometimes he gives us a no. Sometimes he says, you know, just not right now. Just wait a little while. Just wait. But with this question of when, I, I wanted us to be thinking back, and I want you, I encourage you today to be looking back over the course of your life and the course of time that you've been with the Lord and following the Lord. And maybe just even recently, maybe if you've been more involved in the Word or more uh, involved in, maybe you've had a, a, uh, a trial, maybe you've had more difficult times than normal. Maybe it's then that you look back and say, you know, let me ask you this, when has God listened to you? Or better yet, let me put it this way. When has God heard your cries? So even back from the beginning, when he called Moses into the ministry, he called him because he had heard the cry of his people as they were in Egypt. The one thing we can always go back to is God hears us when we cry. God hears us when we praise him. God hears our innermost thoughts. That's both humbling uh, and shocking and really scary <laughs> that God knows everything. And he even knows our wants and desires. And he, he knows what we have need of before we ask, yet he still calls us to ask. So today, I just want you to think about that word when. Do you look back over your life and say, to answer this question, when has God been there for you? When has God been there to hear your cry? When has God answered your prayers? And maybe today we should just spend some time, kind of like Moses doing, reminiscing, 
and being thankful. Maybe today we just need to be thankful that God has been there every time that we've ever called. God bless you, and I pray you have a great, great day.